Hey everybody, welcome to West Palm Beach, Florida here at the Improv where today it's the 2016 Sailfish Sports Athletic Awards. We're going to get a chance to talk to all the winners right here and get their thoughts on tonight. All right, we're here with President's Award recipient Amber Johnson. Amber, you've accomplished so much in your four years at Palm Beach Atlantic University, both on and off the field. What's your biggest, your favorite memory? Um, well, I have to say um, the series this past weekend, Sweeping St. Leo, number four team in the nation. We Congratulations, just, uh, by the way. Thank you. We just all came together as a team, and it was just so much fun, and they had no idea what was coming to them. So it was great to represent PBA in that way. That might be one of your best memories. What are you most proud of? Um, just everything that we've accomplished here in the four years, just seeing how much PBA has grown and then the softball program in general, just seeing how we started out my freshman year here and then just making ourselves known among all the teams in Division Two, being one of those powerhouse teams. So it's just great. Well, four solid years is not done just yet, but what's the plans after graduation? Um, I'm getting married and then, <laughs> yes, yeah, so moving to Gainesville to go be- Show off the ring, come on, show it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving to Gainesville to <laughs> be a Gator dentist. So, yep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> well, congratulations on the career and congratulations on your award. Thank you. All right. And now we're here with the male recipient of the President's Award, Ben Murray. Ben, congratulations on the award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey guys, how does it feel? <laughs> it feels great. Got to shake President Fleming's hand on the stage after three years, so got another year left. Right. So a multitasker, I see. Now, golf is a two-semester sport. How have you been able to balance things out? I, uh, my teammates really hold me accountable. We uh, will study together sometimes. My roommate, Andy Peterson, we, uh, <laughs> we take a lot of finance classes together. And um, it is tough balancing both the golf and because we're gone. We miss a lot of class. But, um, yeah, just uh, staying with my teammates, and we keep each other accountable. Now, summer's a little different. Who's going to hold you accountable then, and are you playing in any tournaments? Um, I'm actually doing an internship at Morgan Stanley this summer, um, so I'm looking forward to that. But I will be playing in tournaments, uh, trying to qualify for the Florida Amateur, U.S. Amateur, Florida Open, um, bigger events than I'm used to playing in. So, All right, well, good luck this summer. Enjoy it, and we look forward to uh, next year and having you out there on the links. Thanks a lot. We're here with Stephanie Brown now, the Athletic Director Award recipient. And you asked me a couple seconds ago, am I nervous? Yeah. <laughs> You look very nice tonight. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> now, we, we've learned a lot about you over your time here at Palm Beach Atlantic, but you remember this volleyball team has been so amazing. Tell us a little bit about those friendships that have developed and how they've helped you throughout your time. Yeah, well, um, I mean, my teammates are my best friends. That's just how it's always been. So um, I kind of wish I made more friends outside of my team, but it's just always kind of been us. Like, we... Um, Coach Roy does a really good job of recruiting like like-minded girls to play volleyball at PBA. So it is such a blessing to just have them as my best friends. So tell us one of your favorite moments. Oh my goodness, I would have to say um, probably beating Tampa. Like as far as volleyball, that was such a great moment for all of us. Um, but probably just like all the times we spend together, like away tournaments and in the hotel room and just like hanging out and making memories. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And now we're here with Jermaine Metz, the male recipient for the Athletic Director's Award. Jermaine, you guys did something historic in this past season for the men's soccer team, making it to the NCAA tournament, getting so far. Tell us a little bit about that year. It was like, it was unbelievable. Like, we didn't expect to get that as far as we did. Like, coming in from last year, we thought we were just going to have like a similar season, same old, same old, and then to make school history and be the first team to make nationals as it was an unforgettable uh, experience. Now, you say you didn't expect it, but I spoke to a couple of you guys during the season. None of you were surprised, were you? Well, like, as the season progressed, like, we started off really strong. So, like, confidence kept on building and building and building. Like, we realized, like, we're, we're a solid team. Like, we can compete with everybody. And then, like, halfway through the season, we just we realized we, could, we can go all the way if we, if we really wanted to. You talk about confidence. You guys are pretty confident. You and your teammates coming in dressed just pretty nice here tonight. Who would you say is the best dressed on the entire squad? Um, the best dressed? Oh. You can say it yourself. No, I'm not going to give it to myself. I don't want to be like that. Um, I don't want to boost his ego, but I'd say Charlie Dennis looks pretty sharp tonight. All right, we'll see if we can track down Charlie later. But congratulations on the award and enjoy tonight. Thank you. Rookie of the year right here, Allie Roan. Allie, you stepped on to a volleyball squad that had so much success last year. Tell us 
how it was coming in this season? Uh, it was definitely so exciting um, just to see how well they've done in the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, I just came in with high expectations that we would go even further this year and um, that happened and I was definitely happy that I could be a part of that and um, just bring to the team whatever I could. What do you think Ali Roan brought to this team? Um, a lot of passion and heart and um, I always hope to give my best effort and just to be a leader out there. One of the really neat things about you was you got to play alongside your sister in her final season here at PBA. How significant and great was that for your family, for not only you two sisters, but also your family? Oh, well, they loved it. They got to come down to Florida and um, live in a house for our season, the three months, so they definitely enjoyed that. But just playing under her leadership and her experience, you know, she could kind of help me out with whatever I needed. And um, just we have a special connection. So even on the court, it was just something really special, and I can't really describe it. Shut up. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean. I know, I stole your line. My <laughs> fault. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And now the rookie of the year on the male side, Bakari Worth. And Bakari, you came into this year tra transitioning into the college game. What do you think was one of the biggest adjustments you had to make? Uh, being able to play long minutes, really. <laughs> kind of high school, I didn't have to play so much because the team was so good. But it's like I got to play long minutes and provide uh, a lot for my team. Well, you made the adjustment there, but from the very first time I saw you and a lot of our Sailfish fans saw, down at the University of Florida, you had an alley-oop dunk, amazing athleticism there, and a tip-in for a game winner this season. Those two amazing plays, but what, what stood out for you? What was your favorite? Well, I would say probably uh, the Barry game because I've never been in a predicament like that. Well, they were, you were fun to watch this year. Really enjoyed it. Sailfish fans, I'm sure you did as well. Bakari, congratulations on your award. Thank you. And now here with the Clark Botel Award winner, Taylor Buchanan. Taylor, congratulations. Thank you. I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> honored to have you here. Well, I'll tell you what, your career has been an interesting one, and it's not all about being in the, on the court or in the classroom. You do a lot of things outside of that as well. You're involved with the SAC committee, and you recently took a trip to Phoenix, Arizona. Tell us a little bit about that. I did. Um, it was an amazing experience. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to meet a lot of different athletes from all divisions and um, kind of learn more about leadership and hopefully bring back some of that knowledge back to PBA. Now, I think when you chose PBA, you didn't exactly plan for your athletic career to go away. It has, season any injury. Tell us a little bit about that recovery process and what you might have learned from it. Um, I learned to just always have a positive attitude, and even though I'm not on the court, there's a lot of things that I can do for my team. Um, and so I was happy to just serve them in whatever way I could, even though I couldn't physically be out there on the court with them. Well, congratulations on your win here today and you. your career as a sailfish. Thank you so much. <laughs> And now here with Zach Sittler from the men's soccer team. Zach, you guys had such an amazing year this season and one of the top scoring teams in the country. Tell us a little bit about training every day that got you guys to that point. Well, training every day, we were together not only in the classroom but on the field together. And just that chemistry and also returning a lot of people really made us click. And it we also there's times where we're struggling even though we're playing well, and I really felt like training on the field, working through it, being a family, because like a brotherhood's a family to us and that really helped everything click in the final part. So that's why most people outside of the team didn't know if we were struggling a little bit because we could show internally that we were strong enough to get through it. Well, congratulations on your, your win here today, your award and the great season. Thank you. Here with Lauren Alberti, the recipient of the Strength and Conditioning Award. And Lauren, you look stunning. Who are you wearing tonight? Um, this lovely gown is by Bob White. Congratulations on winning the award this season. Had a red shirt. You still stuck tough with the team. Tell us a little bit about that process and staying focused and just get, keeping yourself prepared while being off the court. Well, the main purpose of me redshirting was to just um, keep training, keep practicing, and so that I'd be prepared for the next year um, when the team needs me. And um, that's what just kept me motivated. Now, since you won the Strength and Conditioning Award, you got to look right at that camera, and you got to give us a nice little muscle. There you go. Got to give the flex. Congratulations on winning your award. Thank you. Here with Rachel Holhaus, the recipient of the Gary Carter Award. Rachel, this is the second year in a row you've gotten this thing, and it's all about heart and enthusiasm. Give us a little insight of where you get yours from. Well, this is my fourth year, so I've been uh, playing alongside these girls for four years and with this coach, and um, 
It's just the passion that everyone brings together as a team, um, and it really motivates me to play hard um, and to play for them and to play for God, of course. So. Well, that's awesome, isn't it? Yes. As you say, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, you, second time winning the award, and then you, it's all about using twos. You're not only a volleyball player, but you're also a basketball player. So look into that camera because coaches will be watching. Which one's the tougher sport? <laughs> no, I can't answer that. Um, they're both, I would say they're both tough in different aspects. I'd say volleyball a little more mentally tough and then basketball a little more physically tough, but definitely both tough sports. In both sports, you show your heart and enthusiasm, which is why you are the two-time winner of the Gary Carter Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here with one of the male recipients of the Gary Carter Award, Mr. Tom Gavin. Tom, looking good today. Thank you very much. Now, you guys had a very successful season on the men's soccer team and a lot of great guys. You were one of the leaders on that team. Tell us what it takes to wear that armband. Mm -hmm. um, well, for when I came in my junior year, for coach to, to give me the armband straight away was a, a little bit of a surprise, but a challenge I was looking forward to. Um, I, as I came in, I um, realized straight away that I'm very fortunate to have a, a great group of guys um, on and off the field, very talented and also very together. So just for me as captain, my role is just motivate the team, uh, make sure everyone's organized on the field and and just give everyone plenty of encouragement and just kind of lead from the front with uh, my work rate and, and attitude and then it's kind of infectious throughout the team so that's well, um, I tell you, so only so many people can wear the captain armband mm -hmm. I mean only so many statistics can be shown in yeah. soccer but what are some of the things that stands out to you that makes an impact on both sides of the ball yeah I mean f for me as a more defensive player um, I'm not really going to score many goals or get many assists but um, I've got a very important role in the team as I said, making sure everyone's organised, um, everyone's together when, when we're going through hard times, make sure we stick together and, and grind out the result. And I think that's one of the things we did so well last year. Um, we missed one of our star players, Lucas Coutinho, for four or five games. And we had tough, tough road games at St. Leo and at Rollins. And we managed to, to win just by a, a single goal. So I think it shows... Um, shows how close we were to, as a group together. Well, I tell you, after watching you play with a lot of determin determination, a lot mm -hmm. of heart, and also a smile on your face when you're yeah. out there, kind of playing like a kid, which is yeah. one of the reasons you're winner of this award this mm -hmm. season, the Gary Carter Award. Congratulations. All right. Thank you very much. And now another male recipient of the Gary Carter Award, Nicholas Yurison. Nick, you're out there getting better and better every year. What drives you? I mean, actually, I really want like, the team to succeed. So every day we try to work really hard. And I think this year we did it pretty good, so I think we improved a lot in that time. And you keep pushing yourself harder and harder each year. Is there one thing that stands out that you've learned to help yourself get better? Uh, actually, um, I have many motivations. My family is a really big one. Um, my teammates, of course. Uh, I, every, every time I go into a match, I try to make everything good just to make them proud, my parents and my teammates. So. Now, tennis is a very emotional sport. I mean, you're out there, you, you just lay it all out there, and you're, you're into every single match. What, where, where do you pull that from? Actually, it's from, I think, when I was young, it was the same. No? You, every time you go to a match, uh, it's, it's really hard to express your emotions. I mean, it's tennis, so if you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you have to, like, try to contain yourself, or if you're happy, try to, like, calm your emotions. But, Oh, hunger seems to be the thing we taught, you know, the other recipients of this award, and they have the same thing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here with Don Harp Award winner, Ben Murray. Ben, you're on the PBA golf team, and it's, golf's an individual sport. So tell us, how do you balance out your individual goals alongside team goals? Um, it is tough because it's different. You know, all my life I've played as an individual. But with the team, uh, our coach helps us set very high goals for ourselves. Um, we have the best competition in the nation in the Sunshine State Conference that we get to play against. And um, my teammates are the best guys. We, uh, we have so much fun out there. Um, so we just try to keep it fun and uh, that translates to success. Well, congratulations, good job here today and good luck moving forward. Appreciate it, Chris, thanks. And the female Don Harp Award winner, Melissa Hearing. Melissa, you started off here at Palm Beach Atlantic as a soccer player, and then you transitioned to cross country. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, it was a big transition because soccer is such a team sport, and cross country is a team sport, but it's more individual. So um, I think really being able to go from soccer allowed me to be able to do well in running because I could take a team approach and kind of unite the team in that aspect. 
Well, you were a member of both those teams, and now you're involved with athletic training. you got to deal with all the teams. Are you just tired of these athletes? <laughs> it's a lot being around them all the time, but you get a different <laughs> aspect of things. Well, they seem to appreciate you. You picked up a nice award here today. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, moment you might have been waiting for, but you saw it last year. The Female Athlete of the Year Award goes to Faith Roan. Faith, congratulations. Thank you so much. Second time winning this award, i got to ask, four years ago, how did you envision your volleyball career going here at Palm Beach Atlantic? Well, I definitely knew I was coming into um, a successful program, but I didn't envision it coming out to what it was, which was obviously this last year going to the national championship, and even the three years before that, just having a very successful road, and I just, um, God has just taken me on this journey through all four years, and just to be able to have the, ex the success that we did was just great, so couldn't have asked for anything more. Four great years, two, two awesome awards, great teammates to work with as well. How do you let it go? I mean, is there a future in volleyball after Palm Beach Atlantic? I definitely want to keep playing. My goal is to transfer over to Beach. And um, for people that don't know, it's, it's very much a different game, totally different strategy. But you get to be outside, and I don't want to let it go. So um, my next goals, I guess, would to transfer over to Beach Volleyball. One more side question, going back to this season. How great was it to play with your sister and also in front of your family, you two together? Oh, it was amazing. I, you know, I, if I had a dollar for every time someone asked me that this year, I'd be rich. But um, I just, I can't even put it into words. It just made my last year that much more special. And um, just for her to win Rookie of the Year. And <laughs> um, I'm just so proud of her. And I just, I just couldn't have asked for anything more. <laughs> well, you guys did it as a team, and you did it also individually. Appreciate um, everything you've done for us, and congratulations. Thanks, Chris. Now, when you're introducing the Male Athlete of the Year, do you try to do it, or you just hand them the microphone and let them talk? Lucas Coutinho, everybody, getting the Male Athlete of the Year award. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Uh, last year, you had a good season. This year, you have an amazing season. What was the biggest difference? Was it just team chemistry? Was it just overall play? Was it a little bit of luck? No, no luck. Um, definitely the chemistry. You touched right on right on the spot there. Uh, the chemistry we, we built, even though like on the year that we weren't very successful, we were doing something that we we finally got to, you know, get it get it out in the, the year after. So it was definitely the chemistry. We knew each other very well. We worked hard for it during summer, during the spring, and we knew it was going to be a good fall season. Now, I got to ask, you led the team with assists, but is it more exciting to dish one off to your teammates and watch them score or just fire one in there yourself? <laughs> that that's a question I always get. Um, to me, to set up someone is it's more exciting, you know. Obviously, I don't think I think if you ask most most players, not 99 percent will say that they read a score, but you know, two assists or two goals. And I mean, people ask me, do would you rather have two assists or go always two assists? That's two goals for the team, and that's all that matters. Now, as far as you guys got this season, I asked you as you headed into the playoffs. I said, did you expect to get here? Were you surprised at all? And you had the most perfect answer. You said, you know, we didn't really think about it, but we're not surprised where we're at. I mean, how, how great was this team this season? <laughs> that was amazing. Like, it's hard to describe. Definitely the best team I've ever played with uh, in terms of character and hard work and talent and, and everything. I can keep going forever. Yesterday we were together, um, reunited, just me and some of the guys, and we were just saying we wish we could have another year together. That was by far the, the best experience that I have, I've had with soccer, with soccer. That's why I want to keep playing. Well, the season might have ended, but the family will be forever, won't it? Exactly. Well, congratulations on your award here today. Thank you, Chris. <laughs>